Hi friends, in this video we're gonna talk about Rough which is a tool to do python linting and code formatting. Just to get a feel of what you can do with a python linter and code formatter, I have given a simple example here. If I have a code something like this, you can see the imports os and time are not required and there is some formatting issues like nem1 plus nem2 doesn't look good, maybe there can be some space between this plus sign and the number. and the functions can have consistent spacing between them like here you have one space after one function and here you don't have any space you have just written the if statement which is outside of the function directly in the next line you could have done better at formatting at this right so instead of manually formatting and linting this python file you can use rough to do the formatting and linting so if i run the rough commands rough check and rough format the output would be something like this here the unused imports are gone, there is consistent spacing between the functions and even there is consistent spacing between the variable operations also. So this code looks more readable, more elegant and more maintainable and this matters if you are working on a long term project or if your team size is big. So in short, Rough is a python linter and code formatter which can help you maintain code quality and coding standards. You can see that your code is more readable just for this simple program. Imagine you have a huge code base where you have hundreds and thousands of functions and manually formatting and linting them is impossible. And that's where the tools like rough come in. By the way, the whole content of this video is present in this blog post. I have given the explanations, notes, commands, etc. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. All right, let's get to know about this rough Python linter and formatter. So why use a linter and formatter? These are good to maintain the code quality, consistency, readability, maintain coding conventions and standards, etc. in a Python code base. And in general, in production, these tools are integrated into your code editors and integrated into your CI CD pipelines like pre commit hooks, etc. Now, Rough is a Python linter and a formatter. So, what is a linter? What is a formatter? A linter helps to improve the code quality in terms of readability and coding standards. Linter analyzes the source code, it doesn't run it. And what is a formatter? Formatter restructures the code to make it more readable with a defined set of styling conventions. A linter actually changes the code to maintain coding standards, but a formatter doesn't change the code, it just formats the code like adding line spaces or removing unnecessary spaces, etc. So it doesn't modify the source code, it just ensures styling. So a linter actually modifies the source code to meet the coding standards and conventions. The formatter doesn't change the source code, but just changes the styling of your source code. So rough is a Python linter and formatter. There are already popular linters and formatters like flake 8, isort, black, etc. And rough aims to be a drop-in replacement for flake 8, isort and black. And since it is written in Rust, it's very fast compared to existing tools. How to install it? Well, it's really easy if you are using UV. You just write uv tool install rough rough will be installed as a global tool with uv and if you are using pip you can say pip install rough and if you want to install rough globally you can write pipx install rough and your rough installation once it's installed can be verified using rough version command so let's try to install rough if you are using pip you can write pipx install rough but I'm using UV and I recommend you to also use UV. I've already made video on how to use UV. I will leave the link of that video in the description. So I will actually use UV to install rough. So I'm gonna write UV tool install rough. So if you just run this command, rough will be installed. I've already installed rough. So I'm getting this message rough is already installed. Now, once you install rough, you can just check whether it's there or not by just running rough version. So this is the version of rough I've got installed in my machine. So that's it, we've installed rough. Now how to run rough? Well, you can run rough linter and run rough formatter. So how to run a rough linter? Well, if you run rough check, it will check the linting issues in all the source files present in the current folder and the errors would be displayed in the command line. Now, if you want to check for linting errors in a different folder, you can just write rough check. But if you want to check for errors in the current folder itself, you don't need to do anything. Just write rough check in that folder. Well, if there are any fixable errors, you can directly fix them using rough check minus minus fix. Here, 
rough would check for linting errors and also fix any fixable errors and if you want to watch for linting errors in real time you can just say rough check minus minus watch and rough would watch for errors in real time as the files change so ultimately what you need to remember is rough check and rough check fix that's all is required to run linting with rough tool now let's take a demo of how to run rough we already talked about this example i have a file called main.py and i opened a command line in the same folder where main.py is present so let's try to run rough check now so i'm going to say rough check and it has found two errors and it is telling that these two errors are fixable with the fixed option let's see what those errors are you can see rough has provided you the description about the errors the first error is os is imported but unused and the second error is time is imported but unused well it's right because i'm not using these modules and these are imported you can delete those imports because they are unused now let's try to fix these issues because these are fixable just by the minus minus fix option so i'm gonna write rough check and this time i'm gonna write minus minus fix so if you run this rough has fixed the errors it has even told that it has found two errors and those two are fixed because sometimes rough can't take the decision you have to take a call whether to fix the issue or not but fortunately these two issues are very simple and rough has fixed those two errors so we have easily run rough check for linting. Let's try to format the code file by using rough format command. So I'm going to just write rough format. Now the source code is not changed, but it looks more readable because rough has used consistent styling conventions in all the functions, variable declarations, etc. And now your source code looks more readable and more consistent in terms of styling. Rough check and rough format commands are all you need to do the linting and formatting. Rough formatter aims to be a drop-in replacement for the existing black formatter. And rough format will format the files in the correct directory. Rough format some directory path would format the files in the specified directory. And if you want to even format a particular file, you can just say rough format path to that particular file. So in this way, you can even format a single file also. Now let's talk about how to configure rough. You see, if you're not using any linting or formatting tool, rough out of the box is really awesome to style and lint your code. But if you are using rough freshly for an existing project, you might have some configuration requirements regarding linting and formatting. And that can be done using the rough configuration files. This is the link for official documentation on rough configuration. We'll go through it. And rough can be configured using any of the two files. You can configure it from the pyproject.toml file or you can configure it using the rough.toml file in the python project folder. So this is an example pyproject.toml file. And these are some common configurations. This is an example of how you can configure rough from rough.toml file. So it's almost the same, but the name of the sections are different. So before understanding how to read or create this toml file, you need to know about linting rules and formatting rules so let's try to go to the official documentation here to understand how to configure rough and what are linting rules so this is the official documentation on how to configure rough let's go to the rules section and you can see rough supports over 800 lint rules and there are a lot of categories of lint rules here so let's see what is a lint rule i have taken an example lint rule from this sidebar and one rule name is F401. It is telling the name of the rule is unused import. So if I click on this rule, what it does is checks for unused imports. And in fact, in our example, it was the rule which was used to remove the unused imports. It's basically like a linting policy where enabling each rule will enable each linting functionality. Now you can see the linting rules are actually grouped. This PyFlex F rule has a lot of sub rules. So all these rules come under the category of F, which is PyFlex rules. And there is this PyCode style rules, which come under the subcategory E and subcategory W. And in that subcategory E, we have a lot of linting rules. So ultimately, you have categories of linting rules and each category has multiple linting rules. So now we understand what is linting rules. Linting rules are policies which are used by linters to lint your code. And these are grouped into categories. Now that we have understood what are the linting rules and what are the categories or grouping of linting rules, we can now easily understand the toml files to configure rough. It's pretty simple actually. If you use select, only the rules present in the select statement will be used for linting. 
that means e4 e7 e9 f and b the default rough linting rules will be ignored and only these linting rules will be used for linting but in this set of rules if you want to ignore some particular subset or some particular rule you can do that using the ignore statement so all the rules in this statement would be enabled but you can ignore this rule or you can even give a list of rules or sub rules something like that and using this unfixable you can avoid fixing some particular linting rules for example for some reason i don't want to actually remove unused imports and that can be done very easily using unfixable and i should write f401 and all the linting rules should be present in a section called tool.rough.lint so this is basically a toml file section and the section name should be tool.rough.lint so this is how i can configure rough linting and here there is one more option tool rough lint per file ignores so here i am saying in init py ignore e402 and in all the files and in all the folders which have names test docs and tools ignore e402 rule so here we are doing per file and per folder linting ignores so this sections were about configuring linting now this section is about configuring the formatting here i have written code style equal to single by default rough uses double quotes for formatting but if you want to use single quotes for formatting you can do that by overwriting the default rough format behavior like this now the same applies to a rough.toml file but the name of the sections are different that's all i generally choose rough.toml because i can segregate rough rules separately in a rough.toml file because pyproject.toml has other sections also not only rough but it also has other sections like name description packages etc etc but rough.toml can only have rough related configuration so i prefer rough.toml over pyproject.toml so in your python project you need to create rough.toml file something like this and write all your rough configuration if you actually want to control how rough lints and formats your code so this is about linting rules you can use select to select only specific rules you can use ignore to ignore from the existing rules and you can use extend select to add additional rules to the existing rules for example select ef will take all the rules from the e and f rule categories and ignore will only ignore this rule from this categories of rules and extend select will add one more linting rule section to the existing section and let's talk about how to configure formatting so if you want to actually exclude some files and you don't want rough to format those files you can do that using the exclude setting you can write exclude equal to and specify either the required files in a folder or some required files or you can even specify a whole directory something like this so let's try to see the official docs regarding formatting so here you have the doc string code format exclude indent styling code styling and you have a lot of notes about how to format and what these settings are but by default the formatting of rough is enough out of the box we have talked about how to configure linting you can even configure the lint fixing for example you can use unfixable setting to mention which linting rules should not be fixed remember rough check minus minus fix will actually fix only the safe errors you can even fix unsafe errors using additional flag called minus minus unsafe fixes obviously it's not recommended and there might be some cases where for some unsafe rules you are okay for rough to fix those issues so to promote an unsafe fix to a safe fix you can just write extend safe fixes and mention that unsafe rule as a safe rule and sometimes you don't want even a safe fix to be fixed by rough you can do that by demoting that rule as an unsafe fix for example i'm using this extend unsafe fixes setting and i'm telling that this rule should be demoted as an unsafe fix this might be a safe fix but now i'm declaring this as an unsafe fix and now if i run rough check fix this fix will not run all right that was all about how to configure and run rough till now we were using command line to run rough right but rough has an awesome vs code extension where you can do it graphically interactively so i'm going to my vs code marketplace and i'm going to search for rough so i got this rough vs code extension i'm going to install this now it's installed and after you install rough vs code extension you need to tell vs code to use rough for linting and formatting and that's not done out of the box you need to configure vs code for that i'm going to do control shift p and search for user settings and here i've got user settings json click on this 
you will get a JSON file. And here you need to write Python section and you need to do some JSON configuration here. This required configuration is present in the blog post. So you can copy paste and paste it in your own VS Code JSON file. So here I'm declaring the default formatter is the rough formatter. So let me try to save this. And now if I open my Python file, instead of running rough format, I can just press Alt Shift F and rough has formatted my Python file. And you can even do something like Control Shift P and format. You can say rough format document. You can even do that. But generally I prefer Alt Shift F. We have seen rough formatter in VS Code in action. Now let's see rough linter in action. You can see I've got some squigglies on my OS and time. So if I hover on that, you can see the rough rule 401 telling that the module is imported, but it's unused. You can just click on the quick fix. Now rough is saying remove the unused import. So click on that. Now this linting error is fixed. The same way, click on this. You can say remove unused import OS. So you can do like that, but there is one more awesome way. Let's go to the settings.json and here, editor code action on save source dot fix all explicit so if you just save the setting you are telling vs code that whenever i save the file fix all the errors so in my main.py if i say control s the linting is done automatically so this saves you a lot of time and improves productivity removes the human errors you don't need to manually fix the errors it does everything on save now there is one more awesome feature called format on save so if I just enable this editor format on save, if you just save the file, it will be formatted automatically. So let's go to our file and I'm just saving it. It has formatted, linted and made my code more readable just by saving the file. So this saves a lot of human effort. And there's one more useful setting, source organized imports explicit. What this does is if you just save the file, it will organize and sort the imports as per coding conventions. This is also a useful setting. So in short, just install the rough VS Code extension and use these settings in your VS Code user settings JSON and you are good to go. VS Code will automatically lint and format your files just by saving them. So this is some explanation and commands on how to do VS Code linting and formatting using rough. Please do check out the rough documentation to know more and dig deep into the rough linting configuration and what are the things you can get using rough linter and formatter or else you can open the blog post linked in the video description where you have very concise and useful information you can just read it for five to ten minutes and you'll easily understand and you'll be very comfortable to use rough in your projects i've also given the references to the official documentation to do further reading so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video so that's it about rough python linter and formatter Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Peace.